Hi guys, I'm Shy, and today we're going to be going through some of my old digital art pieces and critiquing them for fun. Yay! So a few days ago I was going through some of my old files when I accidentally stumbled across some of my old artwork from like 2020 I think? Some of these might be from 2020, 2021, uh, yeah. <clears throat> the good old days. Um, <laughs> but I thought it would be fun to showcase some of my old work and make a video out of it. Yeah. Oh gosh, what am I doing? <laughs> Anyways, I hope that this could help some of you guys um, by, you know, just sharing some things that I would have done differently back then compared to now. Um, I'm definitely still improving. I'm nowhere near where I would like to be, but they say the only person you should really compare yourself to is yourself. So today we're going to be doing just that and hoping for the best. <laughs> okay then, let's start with some old pieces from 2020. Uh, yes, 2020, what a glorious year that was. Um, but. Uh, sarcasm aside, it was actually the year that I got my first digital tablet. Yeah, this was my first introduction to digital art, and unfortunately I can't find my first digital drawing. Like, I know what it was. It was like this illustration of like cream and cheese, and it probably looked uh, like a beginner who just got her hands on her first art tablet. But, <laughs> um, unfortunately I couldn't find the file, so it won't be in today's video. Um, I was really disappointed because I like I was looking forward to roasting the absolute heck out of it, but um <clears throat> of Jokes aside uh, <laughs> One thing I did want to point out about my old pieces like this one here um, This was after the Sonic movie came out. So it definitely was like what was that February of 2020? Um, one thing I do want to point out is that my shading it used to be really soft back then, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, like it doesn't look terrible or anything, but um, one thing that I did learn while I drew more was that using the airbrush for shading usually results in the art looking flat or blurry or blown out. Um, this is because there is a lack of hard edges, which is what is needed to define shadows and what is um, in shadow and what is in light. So uh, today I just use um, a soft round brush or a hard brush in order to do my shading before moving on to like all the rendering and stuff like that. And I definitely moved into a more cell shaded style nowadays, which I'm more comfortable with, but back then I wasn't exactly sure how to do that, so I basically abused the airbrush for every single drawing as we can see in these next few examples. Good grief. So slowly moving into early 2021, I discovered the glorious world of Pinterest. Um, <laughs> I was watching a lot of art YouTubers at the time and they all said that using references is key to improvement and I stand by that 110% because the second I learned how to use references effectively and by using references I don't mean tracing or copying someone else's artwork that is helpful if it's only for you and helping you learn, but please, please, please do not copy or trace other people's artwork and claim it as your own. That is a topic for a whole other day and I'll probably discuss it later. Um, but by use reference, I mean looking at other people's artwork and seeing what you like about it and then taking those aspects to influence your own art style, which is how you eventually develop your way of drawing and doing things. So a few things that inspired me back then was stuff like the Sonic Channel art style, mainly the ones done by you oh, hang on. Uh, <laughs> I hope I don't butcher their names. Yuji Uakawa and Yue Karasuno. Please tell me if I pronounced that wrong. I'm really trying to learn Japanese. <laughs> um, but anyway, so a few of these pieces I was like trying lineless work to see if um, if like that's a workflow that I could get behind 
but I realized that lineless work takes a lot of time and precision and patience, which little me did not have, so I ultimately stuck with line art um, for my pieces. Um, so the avatar you see now took me way too long. This is like some of her old concepts. I have had her for a while now. She actually started out as a rabbit, as we can see here. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, a few of these I actually remember like, oh yes, this is going to be our final design and I totally loved it. And then a few days later I would hate it again and then like, oh no, time for a redesign. So <laughs> I was so indecisive. Good grief. So if you made it to the end of the video, first of all, thank you so much. I'm not sure how or why or for what reason, but if you are still here, thank you. I really appreciate it. Uh, thanks for sticking with me through whatever this was. Um, I was really looking for video ideas and this kind of came to mind and I found this old file folder thing and I was like, yeah, this would be great content. Everyone wants to see my old stuff, right? <sighs> Anywho. Uh, thank you for making it this far in the video. If you did enjoy, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!